Good evening and welcome to the July 9, 2013 emergency business meeting of the Prince George's County Board of Education. Uh, before we begin, uh, I'm asking everyone to please turn off your wireless communication devices uh, and for those of you who have stuck around a few extra minutes, thank you for your patience and we apologize for being slightly behind this evening. Mr. Valentine, would you please lead the board prayer and Pledge of Allegiance? Thank you, Mr. Valentine. Uh, Mrs. Wilson, would you please call the roll? Dr. Anderson. <laughs> Ms. Beck. Present. Mr. Burroughs. Ms. Epps. Ms. Eubanks. Present. Ms. Fellows. Present. Ms. Higgins. Here. Ms. Jacobs. Here. Dr. Kaufman. Here. Mr. Valentine. Here. Ms. Waller. Present. Ms. Boston. Dr. Eubanks. Thank you, Mrs. Wilson. Uh, may I have a motion to adopt the July 9th, 2013 emergency board meeting agenda? So moved. Second. It's been moved and seconded. Uh, then uh, that the July, uh, uh, what is this? An agenda uh, is approved. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? All right, item number 4.0 public comments on agenda items. Today we have two speakers. Uh, if you've been registered to speak in public comment forum where the Board of Education will listen to your comments, the Board will not address your comments. All registered speakers will have three minutes to make their presentation. Your adherence to these guidelines will enable the public participation process to move smoothly. Our first speaker this evening is Mr. David Kahn. Thank you. I'd like to speak tonight on our new superintendent, except I now have to call him our chief executive officer, showing that the emphasis is now on being like some big corporation instead of an educational institution, which I think is a mistake and uh, I regret, but I certainly hope he'll do well and eventually I will welcome him here. What I don't like is how he got here and what his being here represents. Under the new law, he has been selected by the county executive as a political appointee. And your job as the board is, was to negotiate a contract with him, and that's why we're here today. Uh, although, according to the press release, the board chair negotiated the contract, and I think the law says that that's the board's responsibility, but so be it, it doesn't really matter because you have no choice in the matter. This is just nibbling around the edges. You didn't select the superintendent and uh, the uh, uh, various items in the contract. There's not a whole lot of discretion anyhow, except maybe the dollar amount and the bonuses. That's a public document. It was not on board docs. It is not before the public today so that I and others can comment on it for whatever good that might do. Uh, maybe uh, the comments would have you go back to the drawing board. I don't know. I doubt it. But it's a matter of transparency that is missing from this board. And I think that's a mistake. Uh, I thought that um, Dr. Maxwell would be here tonight, so uh, many of the things I wanted to say were more addressed to him. But um, I think that the system is um, not in the best interests of our students, our parents, and our taxpayers. The elected members of this board are accountable to them, 
and the appointed members are not, and the superintendent or CEO will not be. I think that's a big mistake, and yet I nevertheless hope for every success from you all and from him. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Khan. Our next speaker is Melody Spruill. Hello, everyone. Melody Sprill. Um, most of you know who I am. So, yeah, I'm sure you would like that. <laughs> I'm like, I'm sure you would like that. Um, and most of you all know who I am. Um, however, I'm just going to make, um, a, I guess, um, several comments. Um, one of the comments, and I, and I was hoping for an outline of the contract as well, and um, because there's, I, there's no reference point for me. So, and by the time we get it, it's going to be, it's going to be ironclad. There will be nothing that we'll, you know, we can say, so. Um, but I guess one of the main issues, um, I guess, I wanted to um, hear from the, um, I guess, our new CEO um, regard, in regards to if he understands a social um, diversity of our community. Um, I was reading, uh, which I do a lot of, that um, our children, or a lot of the minority kids, which is ma majority of our majority of our children, our system are minorities, um, are less likely to be diagnosed with ADHD. Now, how are we going to compete with other kids that have, I guess? less minorities in their system if they're on Ritalin. You cannot compete against a person that's on Ritalin, personally, um, personal experience. So I want to know how will that be addressed and how are we going to accommodate our children that are ADHD and a parent has a right to say whether their child is medicated or not, they, they have that right although um, I might feel different, but they do have that right. So how will our teachers um, address that issue in their classroom is one of my concerns, as well as that I have a child that has an autoimmune disease and um, he misses a lot of school, but he's still a straight A student. He's still, he's still very bright. He's, he's two grades above and I will put them up against any, any child, private or public. Um, I would like for there to be more accommodations for those type of children. I would like to see that, and I, and I don't see it in our system. But I think if that was more for the CEO, maybe not for you guys, but if you all get together and talk about it, I'm sure we can, you can work something out. I wish you guys luck. Thanks a lot for letting me speak. Bye-bye. Thank you, Ms. Brew. That concludes our uh, public comment for the evening. Uh, agenda item 5.0, consent agenda. There are no items on the consent agenda. Uh, item 6.0, budget consent agenda. Colleagues, we're at the point now of adopting item 6.1, chief executive officer contract under the budget consent agenda. May I have a motion to approve item 6.1? So moved. So moved, may I have a second? It has been moved and set, properly moved and seconded to approve item 6.1, Chief Executive Officer contract under the budget uh, consent agenda. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, Mrs. Wilson, please call the roll. Dr. Anderson? Yes. Ms. Beck? Aye. Ms. Eubanks? Aye. Ms. Fellows? Aye. Ms. Higgins? Aye. Ms. Jacobs? Dr. Kaufman? Aye. Mr. Valentine? Aye. Ms. Waller? Aye. Ms. Boston? Aye. Dr. Eubanks? Motion carries.
Thank you, colleagues. Um, uh, as we have not concluded uh, our items on executive session, we will uh, adjourn and reconvene in executive session and, and come back to confirm the votes. Uh, thank you, public, for joining us. I'll let folks know that um, once the uh, contract uh, provisions have been signed by all parties, uh, then they will be properly uh, uh, made public uh, through, uh, through the channels throughout the school board. And so we'll convene and, be, and come back in when we're done with executive session. Thank you.